I love this song. Power <laughs> Savers. Oh, wait. <laughs> Take my passport out again. Just replace it. Two words out of ten for my left hand. Four finger meets my knuckles. Can I join you that back? <laughs> Maybe you're lovable. Maybe you're my snowflake. Your eyes turn from green to grey in winter. I'll hold you in a cold place. You just never cut your hair. I gotta love the way you flick it off your shoulder. You'll never know just how beautiful you are. Maybe I'm just in love when you wake me up. You never feel guilty. We're already in the house. Turkey is helping to pee. What do what you think this way? Right what do you think? I'm trying to rewatch it 12 times. <laughs> There's a fairy tale too. <laughs> if your DVD breaks today, should have owned the VCR. Cause I never owned the Blu-ray. There's a line in the song, and she said it to me, and I thought that it, she meant it. The rock and true to the blue with the TV. And then you laugh at me, and then you laugh at me. I'm gonna be home next week, and then you lie with me. I'm falling asleep. Did you see the scout? Look away up. Um, okay. Well, okay. Today is issue of our daily letter. Teenage rehab. What? I thought we were doing tiers of sports. Oh, are we doing both? No, I thought we were doing one individual and then we'd do the other one later. No, we'll just start with teenage rehab. Okay, well, this okay. this is Pepsi. As you can see, it's not bourbon or whiskey or whatever they drink. Okay? People go to rehab for alcoholism all the fucking time. Hi, guys, Star. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you see the way I look? <laughs> So oh, it comes to my attention that teenagers like to post on Facebook, 40 days clean, you guys. Good for me. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Take the scissors and cut it the fuck out. Can we just go on illegal? No. Why not? Because I want to make a video. Fine, we'll make a video. Cheers to sports. Okay, well that escalated quickly. <laughs> Can I just say something? No. Whether you <laughs> whether you think it's a sport or not doesn't make it not a sport. Like, well, cheerleading is a sport. Just because you don't recognize it as a sport doesn't mean it's not a sport. If, like, say I didn't recognize hockey as a sport. Even though it is, that doesn't make it not a sport. I love hockey. It's one of the best Me there. Too. It's the best. Football and hockey. Woo! We're well, actually cheerleading in hockey. There you go. Those yeah. are the best. Fuck track. I hate you. That sport kind of sucks. They're all dicks. Why are all basketball guys flowing lately? It's a hockey thing. Exactly. Cheerleading is recognized as a sport all around the world. Get Except over yourself. For here. No. Just tell them to get over themselves. They're egotistic assholes and they need to stop telling themselves this deniable shit. Okay. I want to see you. 
graciously and like a freaking ballerina, but cheer-tastically throw a girl up in the air, catch her, and then dump her and do it 10,000 times at one game in two hours. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see you do a <laughs> full um, dance, wow. cheer dance routine in two minutes and 30 seconds on a mat that you cannot step off of. And there's hundreds to thousands of people looking at you. Well, no. Not you, but because you're ugly. <laughs> Me. Yeah. I swear to God, if that one kid in my driving side class is watching this, but she probably won't be. Who? Sean. What? He knows them? No. He knows them? Are you too busy? No. Um, anyways, but, um. Uh, see, I train for what I train. You train for what you train. Your tractor, and you're asking me to athletes with weights. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerleaders love girls. And you know what? It's cheerleading is so easy. Why can't you pick up girls? Also, anyways, back to what I was saying. You train for you train. I train for I, I train. If you ask me to do 800 against you, well, I was in track two years, so I could probably do it. Kick your ass. But I'm not putting the safety of a girl's life in your arms if you have not trained one single bit. Just because you are in some other sport and think you can do this, you can't. You are not trained for it. You don't know the skill. You don't have the skill. Burn. Right. There you go. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> Recognize that it's half a sport if you can lift if you get if you convince your coach to lift with Coach K, one of the coach one of the lifting coaches, coaches when you're sport. out of season at our school. And so we would he counteracted with I'm in two seasons and you're only lifting one. And so I was like, you know what, I could probably lift Coach K. You know what? Okay. Cheer at our school is we try out in April. For the next football season. And we have summer practices. So there. There's already like two months of cheer. And school hasn't even started yet. Then we're there from August until November. That's like August, September, October, November. Four months. Four more months. Four more months. Okay, football season and comp season. And then, right then, in November, hockey season starts. Yep. So, since I'm a hockey cheerleader, I really don't end until March, the beginning of March. And then, it starts all the way back up in the midst of April. Do you want to know how many, time, how, how many months I get off for cheer? One and a half. Probably like, mm, well, we don't really do anything during May, so two and a half months I'm not in cheer. You're going to go tell me to lift weights? Honey. I lift weights every single day at practice. How many times are you lifting? Like, actual weight. I'm lifting girls. I'm throwing them up in the air and catching them. Dead on. Perfectly. Not dropping them at all. I mean, yeah, there's been incidents when we've dropped them, but, I mean, yeah. it happens. And let me tell you, this is one of the dangerous sports, gymnastics being the first. Probably. I don't know. It's, it's just it's ridiculous. Continue. It's ridiculous to think that you can say my sport isn't a sport, but I can't go around and say, oh, you're an idiot, because it's pretty much the equivalency. I'm, sa I'm saying Burn! I'm saying false things about you, unless oh. you're truly an idiot. Then I'm just saying that. You know what? I'm a sophomore, not a moron. The sophomore, not a moron. Okay. And hey. You look at it, we're one of the prettiest sports there is. Look at my hair. Pretty. Pretty. I have this friend that, uh, mascot. Nobody knew he was gay, so he told everybody where he was in the mascot. Now the sound picks up. I really hate this thing. The sound picks up, don't worry about it. Anyways, we're.
were just saying, cheer is a sport, and you all suck. And you're not, you're not going to be able to convince a cheerleader that cheer isn't a sport. And you know what? You're missing out. One because I'm over things. here doing all this great stuff with all these great people, and, and you're sitting on you're the sidelines. You're side just trying to. And you know what? Who goes to football games mm -hmm. to watch the football play? Parents, maybe. The student section? No. I was in that student section one, one time. We've never been fans. We've always been cheerleaders. Uh, and uh, you know what? Regardless of the six drunk people behind me, they're all pretty into those cheerleaders. I wouldn't know. What? I was cheering at that time. Yeah. I wasn't because I was. But you know, we're not gonna get into that. Focus. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, we're just saying that. Okay, bye. See ya.